Hello everyone and welcome to this new video of Everyday JavaScript. In this video we are going to learn a very new feature of JavaScript and an exciting one. Public and private variables in ECMAScript 6. Now you would say wait hold on. Everything in JavaScript used to be public. Where the hell did private and public come from? So this is a new and exciting feature that has come after a lot of community requests and this is how we can do it. It's quite easy. Before I start this video, please like, subscribe and share this video with your friends and also don't forget to comment in the comment section. Thank you. Now it all started one year ago when I was asked to write a class using ES6 increasing counter. Now writing the class is quite simple. So in ECMAScript 6, you used to write something like this. You would define a constructor and then you would define the field or property of the class that would hold the value and then you will define a function increment which would increment this value this dot value plus plus now in order to instantiate this class what we used to do is const counter equal to new increasing counter and I'll just print out the value first and after this I'll just hit the increment function and I'll print the updated value. So this would have worked. This is how we used to write one year ago. And I'll just go ahead and say execute this node before dot JS. And it'll give me the previous value and the current value after increment. Now the only irritating part of this was we had to use this constructor mandatorily in order to declare what value is. So what was not possible back then was we couldn't declare something like value equal to zero. This would have thrown an error one year ago. Now with the new feature you can directly go ahead and declare the properties inside JavaScript ECMAScript 6 class. So this would give you no errors and it would give you the same result as we had got now so if you see you will get the same results now there was one more thing that was going on back then was indicating that this variable is public in order to do that developers used to put underscore in front of the variables and this is how they visually represented that this variable is a public variable and it can be accessed outside the function. If they had declared a variable which was like value, this would have indicated to the developer that this variable is a private variable and it should not be accessed outside the class. And again, it was just a visual indication it meant nothing for JavaScript because JavaScript treated every variable or every property of the class as public. It was just a coding convention. But now with the new feature of JavaScript, you can write hash in front of a variable in order to make it a private. So if I go ahead and do this hash in front of the variables, then this variable becomes private. Now, if my oops concepts are correct, this should throw me an error because I'm trying to access a private variable which is outside the class. And I'll just say node before.js. And yes, it threw me an error. Syntax, private field value must be declared in an enclosing class. So you can't access this variable outside the class. How do we access that? We'll write a getter. We'll write a getter function. Return this dot hash value. 
and we'll say get value. So this is how we'll access the private variable. So let's try it. And we get the output. So we have learned two things over here. We no longer need the constructor in order to declare the properties of a class. And we can now declare private and public variables. So this one is a private variable. And if I write counter equal to zero, this is a public variable because it does not have a hash in front of it. So let me try it again. This dot counter plus plus and I'll say can you access this dot counter for me? So let me just go ahead and execute it again once more. And I get the result. So you can declare public and private variables both inside JavaScript ES6. And that is the current feature of ES6. So I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and share this video and drop in your comments about any new concepts of JavaScript that you wish to learn. Thank you and keep watching Everyday JavaScript. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos like this, please like, subscribe and share my channel Everyday JavaScript. And for any other concepts that you want me to explain visually, please drop your comments in the comments section. And thank you for watching.